अरे भाई चिल्ला अरे करवाएंगे यार तुम लोग हॉस्पिटल है तुम लोग यार ऐसे चिल्लाते जैसे तुम्हारे भी लाइक चालू करो ना करूं कौन सा मारे हो भाई ले लो ले लो बोल रहा मैं बोल रहा हूं ले लो Thank you very much. Our program, our program will go like this. Page, and I would like him to say a few words, and then launch the first uh, this promo which we have just made. So thank you very much for that. Photo, photo. Aye, aye. Just inside it. Um, first of all, uh, thank you to Dr. Lovely, um, everyone here, Tata, Times Network, uh, media present here. Um, as we all know, that cancer is having uh, a devastating impact uh, on our society, quite some time globally too. And uh, there is a very alarming statistic that states that, as of right now, one in three people will have cancer at some point of time in their life. And that statistic again alarmingly increases to two and three people by the time we reach 2030. So it is pretty much it's become an epidemic, and it's fast uh, overtaking heart disease as the number one killer. But there is some hope. Uh, there is uh, a silver lining. We've seen that in the past decade, there are a lot of countries where uh, cancer deaths have kind of stabilized and have gone down. And all this, you know, seems like. I knew about all these statistics, uh, but it's a completely different ball game when you have someone very close to you uh, diagnosed with the disease. And I'm sure anyone over here who's had a friend, a relative, a child who's been diagnosed with this disease, it's very difficult to kind of encapsulate or articulate what you go through. Uh, for those of you who don't know, in 2014, uh, my son, uh, he was three years, ten months. He was diagnosed with a very rare case of kidney cancer. Uh, it's called the Wilms tumor. Uh, it happens out of all pediatric cases. It happens roughly two uh, to three percent of kids under the age of four. And my son has to be part of that unfortunate percentage of kids. Um, as a parent, as a caregiver, in our family, uh, you know, we were shattered. We went through a lot of different emotions: uh, pain, guilt, despair, uh, depression. But. We were willing to fight this battle, and we were going to go. You know, we knew we had to go in for the long haul, and we were going to do everything that we could uh, to save our son's life. Um, we knew the treatment was going to continue for, you know, six, seven months. And after that, there is uh, a five-year survival rate, so it's a battle that is still going on. Um, but through this journey, there is, of course, the financial aspect. There is the medical protocol that we have to attend to. But there is one fundamental thing that got us through this. Um, that was the information. That was the knowledge that we got on our side when we, when our son got cancer. Uh, it was the the reading, uh, the information that we got through different sites, through the internet, through books, and that made it so much more easier uh, in in this recuperation, um, in this treatment. And I would imagine 
you know, for someone like us in our family, we are well educated. We come from a proven society in Mumbai. Um, have access to doctors, internet, but we were so ignorant about things that uh, the disease does or what it was. I would imagine what would go through people in small towns in, in a place uh, like India. There are misconceptions that hurt. people feel cancer is contagious. Even people in Mumbai, it's, it's surprising people feel this cancer is contagious. There are social stigmas attached to it. In many cases, in cancers have heard that people sometimes <coughs> don't take timely chemotherapy <coughs> sessions because they take it lightly. Uh, in many cases, they feel, oh, cancer means death. So it is a dead end. So they don't even go ahead and get the treatment. When actually, it's very heartening to know that uh, in pediatric cancers, there's a good 70 to 75 success rate as far as cancer goes. Uh, in my son's case, there was a 90 to 95% success rate. So this is what this initiative is all about. It, it takes that information out of it. And it, and it gives it to everyone. Uh, routine screening, these are the things that I learned along the way. That I knew nothing about cancer, but you know, routine screenings for, for our family right now. Uh, I feel for the rest of our families also out there, if you spend on things like insurance, on a car, on a house, uh, you don't have a good health care plan. You should actually get down to screening uh, your relatives, your, your family, once a year. So God forbid there's something growing in your body, you can check it in time, and that reduces the cost of treatment. At the same time, you check something on, and which has a good prognosis. You have cancer where you can catch it in a first and second stage, and that's that's what makes it more curable. In our son's case, we caught it in the second stage. Uh, I've realized through the, uh, the readings that I've done that, you know, again, a very, very minuscule percentage of cancers, 10% of cancers are genetic. A huge percentage is environmentally related. So a lot of things in our lifestyle, which again, this pushes all this information out. You can put out your questions through email to them, and they can bring that information forth to you. Any any query, any problem that you have, they can bring forth. Stress management, I mean, we have that in our culture. Meditation, yoga, we have you know, getting good sleep, eating well. I mean, in our staple diet, we have one of the best foods that actually are, uh, that can help the body recuperate. For example, turmeric is a super Food. That's the you know, medical, medical community is acknowledging that. So um, these are just some of the things. Obviously, they're going to take you through what the details are. But I wish them all the very best, uh, the doctors here, people at Times Network. And I hope with each passing month, here yeah, this initiative gets bigger and better. And um, you know, maybe I'm a bit too optimistic, but I'm looking, you know, hopeful that in the next couple of decades we look back and say that you know, cancer was king of the past and we eradicated from our society. So. Uh, all the very best. And uh, I guess we will yeah. tell me how to watch it. Thank you very much, And uh, we just saw uh, a promo here. And we have the person with us. And Pratish, please come up and let everybody have a look at you. Please come here.
Ralph will just give him a bouquet. Why is cancer considered to be a stigma in society even, even in today's times? 
Well, that I've still not fully been able to wrap my head around why it's still a stigma. Uh, but uh, you know, even in an affluent society, coming from you know Mumbai, I have seen many stories of people. If some relative has had cancer, people are unwilling to talk about it. Uh, they talk about it in hushed tones. I, I still fully haven't understood why. But I think uh, there should be a dialogue about it. There should be an open talk about it. Till we don't address it um, in a pointed way, uh, you can't reach the point where you can eradicate it. So when you start talking about it in a pointed way, then there is a conversation. And then you can have people screen themselves, you know, because there is a fear. There is obviously a fear that it, is, it has become almost like an epidemic. Okay. And a lot of cancer cases have kind of exploded on the scene in the past decade or two in our country. So the incident rates have increased, but there needs to be more conversation. You know, why has Bollywood shied away from uh, touching a subject like cancer? Because when you look at the best, we have at least a dozen of movies with top yeah. stars, yeah. with cancer as the central theme, but we don't see that in Bollywood. I think the last movie was perhaps starring Rajesh Khanna. Yeah. Well, uh, in my industry, in an industry like Bollywood, it's seen as uh, a grim subject, so people don't see the commercial aspect in that. Uh, people generally function in, in particular genres that are commercially viable. So, uh, because of the economics, and you know, it's just the fear that it might not work. But uh, I beg to differ. If a film is emotional, even if it has something addressed with cancer, if it's a good film uh, and people like it, that film will work at the box office. And then only one person has to make a successful film with it, and then the others follow suit. So it's just a fear that people have. People have this warped, uh, you know, uh, understanding of what commercial is and what is not. Because so it's yeah. interesting because rare disorders like autism and all do get portrayed in yes. Hollywood, but not cancer. But you see, the fact that those have done well, I'm sure that you know probably there is a script waiting around or someone wanting to make a film on cancer as a, a subplot in a film and then you know you just have the right team that understands the subject that can that can make a film of Fans it. have been loving Bachos, look as well, yeah. on that front. How is the shooting going? It's going along. We've shot now, we finished off in Jodhpur and uh, next now next month. How has Ajay evolved as an actor for you? From, from once upon a well, he's fantastic. He's uh, he's one of my best co-actors. He's, uh, he's really, really uh, very, very secure, like I've said before, and a uh, brilliant actor that Every time I work with, you know, you, you you learn something new from the guy. Can we just please stick to this? Because we, you know, we're going to a different territory. Okay. Okay. Well, obviously, it, it is. In our barring hum kya face kar rahe, I think generally across the country there are issues of people having a problem with it. But because the economy is a cashless economy ki taraf ja rahi hai, and there is an intent, um, there have to be payments made obviously through if you are buying something abroad, card payments, um, you have different apps now on the phones that are available, or check payments obviously. But there is a transition phase. Hai. So once that transition phase happens, uh, it will take a couple of months. Abhi bahut ko hai because it has suddenly hit us uh, in the past month or two. But when uh, you make the transition phase, or when the ritual then it becomes easier to adopt. So, your supporting staff for Well, checks. That's, how, that, that's no, we, we give, always give payments with checks. Well, you know, they're all fighters. I always say that children are very resilient. They have a will. They don't understand the concept of cancer. And they are in a way that they are in victory. They are in a way that they are As adults, when we think about cancer, we have so many fears, so many fears, so many fears. He, that somewhere, somewhere hampers in the treatment also. Like in Bachon ka bas yehi hota hai ki you know they're in the present. Treatment ke baare mein sochte nahi hai. Probably thoda bahut obviously physical pain unke hota hai. Bahut physical pain hota hai. But then jab treatment khatam ho jata hai, they recuperate faster. Uh, will we get to see the shades of Imran Ashmi in Bacha or how will it be like? We'll keep you guessing. I don't know what shades you're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, all, all I can say you won't be very disappointed. You'll be happy with what is shaped but up. What is the genre of the Can't reveal too much right now. It's too early. 
uh, you can't reveal that either. <laughs> Too early. So when it's finished, the first promo release will be. Now we release the uh, we announced the re uh, release date, uh, which is the first of September, right. I think. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll be releasing the promo two months before. Was it fun shooting with Jodhpur? Fantastic fun. Is it? I'm waiting to to go back, going back again next month. Imran, is it coming with uh, Secret Superstars? I don't know. I have no idea what that first is. First September is it? I have no idea. Yeah, first September. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.